Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. Let's talk about just how stress can raise your blood pressure. Now, I've heard this before, but here's what I actually hear. It's something like this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> on the one hand, I'm supposed to live a less stressful life, and I haven't figured that one out. Or on the other hand, if life is stressful, somehow I'm not supposed to let it stress me out. And that stresses me out. <laughs> well, I appreciate your conundrum. Yet anyone with high blood pressure has got to increase their skill level at how they respond to stress. I'm not saying eliminate stress, it's how you respond to it. But let me take you back 10,000 years. Your name is Gork, you're meandering the tundra with club in hand, looking for your next meal, and out from behind a bush pops a saber-toothed tiger. You've got to mobilize majorly, biologically, in order to succeed with that tiger. You're talking about the fight-or-flight response. Exactly. And at the vanguard of that fight-or-flight response, internally, is a hormone called adrenaline. Yeah. Let me take you forward to an emergency room. A patient is wheeled in, their blood pressure is extremely low. The doctors are going to have to, in most cases, inject into that patient's veins the world's greatest blood pressure raising substance. That would be some form of adrenaline. Yeah. Let me take you back to when pharmaceutical medications were being developed to address high blood pressure. What did they choose first? Something that would block the effect of adrenaline, and those medications are still in use today. So we're having the fight or flight response. That fight or flight response is raising our adrenaline. That adrenaline is increasing our blood pressure. You got it. And let me make this a little more up close and personal. You're driving home from work. You're pulling into your drive. You can't get in because your girl's bicycles are lying there blocking your way. How does that grab you? I know this one well. Yeah. It can stress me out very quickly. Exactly. Yeah. And my point is how you respond to that stress internally that doesn't trigger the full fight or flight biology, mm. that really matters. So there's this other kind of stress that I've got. It's something like this. I'm, I'm at the park, I'm having a great day, the sun is shining, I'm laying there, and even then I've got this sort of low grade <laughs> tension going. And my guess is that even that raises my blood pressure. Exactly, and of course, you're naming something that's probably far more pertinent to the whole subject of hypertension. Ah, hypertension, the best named syndrome in medicine, too much tension. Hmm. And because this is such an important topic, we're going to address this in many ways in other videos in I Wonder Doctor. So what I really want to ask is, have you had patients who have succeeded in dealing with the fight or flight response differently so that they don't produce all that adrenaline, so that they don't raise their blood pressure? Absolutely. I mean, I've had patients who were capable of lessening the number of medications they take, of lowering the dosages of the medication that they take, and some who have gotten so successful that they've been able to eliminate medications entirely and have normal blood pressure. Now, as you know, this is only the beginning. We created the weekly school, and we put into it everything we can think of to help people heal. There are more videos in this series available in our weekly school. Click to join. It's free.